Hello children, how are you all? Today we are going to learn EVS 2. So children, before we start, let's take a small recap of our last lesson. In this lesson, we had to learn about the formation of the earth. We had to learn that on the basis of scientific research, nearly 4.5 billion years ago, a very large cloud which was made of hot gases and dust was formed in the space and it was started spinning at great speed. Due to the circular portion and great speed, this cloud got divided into the several parts and these parts are now known as the sun and the eight planet which revolves around the sun. Children, this is how our solar system was formed. This is how our earth was formed. The surface of earth cooled down after the formation and water bodies appear on it. A number of unicellular or a single cell light later appear in these water bodies and these unicellular organisms are referred to as protozoa. Children, this is unicellular organism or living thing slowly transform into the multicellular organism or living thing and this multicellular organism also slowly transform into the species of animals and plants. So children, this is the process of development or a transformation is called as evolution. And today we are going to learn more about this process in our next lesson. Lesson number 4, Evolution. So children, let's find out what is the evolution. First point, the concept of evolution. So children, let's see what is the concept of evolution. Evolution means a gradual and continuous change. In the reference to the plants and animal, evolution is the process of survival. So, in the reference to the plants and animal children, this is the process of survival. And for the surviving, all the species of animals and plant adopting to the environmental change. In this process of evolution, some certain internal physical change take place in some animals of species. So, children, all this internal physical change or a environmental change adopting by this species of animal for the survival, for the surviving in this environment. And then this internal change later on become a inherited characteristics of all the following generation. So children, thus a new generation is formed with the new characteristics. And this generation is different from the original species. So children, this is new species of animal are more involved. This is new species of animal with the new characteristics are more involved than the original species. Children, the original species from those a new generation is formed. They may get extinct in this process of evolution or sometime more than one species may involve from the original species. So children, this is the concept of evolution. Evolution means gradual and continuous change. Reference to the plants and animal, this is the process of survival. And for the surviving, all these species of plants and animal adopt to some environmental change. So this is the evolution. Charles Darwin was the first scientist to give a systematic explanation of the concept of evolution. So basically children, this is the process of survival. In this process, the species of animal which could adopt to the environmental change, they are survive in this process of survival. While those who could not adopt the environmental change, they become extinct in this process of survival. This is the process of evolution. For example, the species of dinosaur. Children, it is believed that in the ancient time, many species of types of animal called dinosaur were present. But today, they are extinct. This word dinosaur, dino in Greek means terrible. 
and swords means lizard thus the word dinosaur means terrible lizard these dinosaur are believed to have become extinct due to some natural disaster or environmental change so children in this process of evolution in this process of survival they could not adopt the environmental change therefore they become extinct in this process of evolution the discovery of fossils of some species of dinosaur with wings children it is believed that the two legs and wing dinosaur evolved into birds so children thus from this lesson we had to learn about the evolution evolution means gradual and continuous change in the reference to the plants and animal this is the process of survival and for the surviving some species of animals and plant adopt some environmental change and this internal change later on become a inbred characteristics of all the following generation thus a new generation with new characteristics is formed from the original species of animal this is the process of evolution